नमस्कार सो इन द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ दिस स्पेशल सीरीज लास्ट टेन वीडियोज ऑफ बी एस सी आई पी एफ इयर ऑफ अ क्राइसिस लेसन ऑफ अ लाइफ टाइम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी सेट दैट वी हैड सम लिक्विडिटी इशूज एंड वॉट इज वॉट इज ईल्ड एंड वॉट इज क्रेडिट स्प्रेड वी जस्ट गॉट टू नो दैट ना सी वॉट हैपन कोविड हैपन्ड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बट इन सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन दिस इज दीज आर सम ऑफ द इंसिडेंट्स विच शुक द क्रेडिट मार्केट्स इन इंडिया सो डी एच एफ एल डिफॉल्टेड इन जून जुलाई आई एल एफ एस डिफॉल्टेड जस्ट अ फ्यू मंथ्स आफ्टर इन सेप्टेंबर येस बैंक क्राइसिस हैपन्ड इमीजिएटली आफ्टर दैट सो वन आफ्टर अनादर आफ्टर अनादर सो दिस वॉज नोन एज द शेडो बैंकिंग क्राइसिस ऑफ इंडियन मार्केट्स शेडो बैंकिंग क्राइसिस और द एन बी एफ सी क्राइसिस सो ऑल दीज हैपन एंड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इवन बिफोर कोविड वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ बिफोर कोविड एंड ऑफकोर्स इन कोविड इट गॉट एस्केलेटेड एंड फ्रेंकलिन टेम्पल टेन ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड क्रोर क्राइसिस हैपन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट हैपन्स टू लिक्विडिटी वॉट हैपन्स टू ईल्ड्स वॉट हैपन्स टू ईल्ड स्प्रेड्स वेन अ क्राइसिस हैपन्स नाउ लेट एस से दिस पार्ट इयर टाइम टी जीरो दैट इज ईल्ड स्प्रेड्स वाई एस इज ईल्ड स्प्रेड्स बिफोर द क्राइसिस सो इट वॉज लाइक ओके नॉर्मल डिसेंट लिक्विडिटी एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग वॉज a psu bank or a psu bond maybe which is considered to be safe if that was trading at 8% yield that means if a safe borrower wanted to borrow then that borrower could borrow at 8% which means slightly risky so let's take some large cap some uh, well uh, good good financials good fundamentals large cap so that would be perceived slightly riskier than a psu so therefore that organization will have to raise slightly higher let's say 9% some mid cap will have to raise at 10% and some small cap which is the riskiest they will have to raise at 11% and because of that yield spreads yield spreads are the difference between whatever yield you are looking at and the benchmark so the benchmark is always the risk free rate or the safe rate so in this case 8% so what happened was <clears throat> yield spreads yield spreads were around 3% to in this example just to understand the concept now the moment those 1 2 3 uh, uh, shocks uh, happened about uh, in the liquidity markets about dhfl ilfs yes bank the risk perception suddenly shot up the risk perception suddenly shot up so although liquidity in itself did not get dried out or sucked out but all those who were even those who were having liquidity they were slightly tentative about uh, uh, making those kind of investments or letting the liquidity flow so the liquidity got sucked in and everybody was uh, being conservative so when such a thing happens what happens was this is before crisis uh, before covid but after the three uh, uh, crisis that happened so you see now psu's rate did come down actually because rbi was constantly reducing rates all this while all this while rbi was in a rate reduction spree so because of that the psus because of ample liquidity available or because of because psus were safe it's like implicit government guarantee so the risk perception here was never a concern and with more liquidity available to the better com or better uh, companies their cost of borrowing came down but <clears throat> the perceptions about the risky riskier riskiest these perceptions uh, risk perceptions increased and therefore the difference between the safe and risky which earlier was 1% now became 3% so what happened was the yields of the safe instruments came down whereas the yields of the riskier instruments they went up and therefore the difference between the yields went up and this is known as yield spreads so when the liquidity is ample we said this in the first video when the liquidity is ample yield spreads tend to compress and when the liquidity gets sucked out yields tend to get yield spreads tend to get uh, 
far away from each other and this is what happened so earlier maybe if some company was able to raise at 11% now it was raising at 15 this were example not just numbers trying to drive home the point so this happened before covid happened this was before february march 2020 so in the next video we will see what happened when the unexpected happened that was uh, the covid crisis so this is the second video in a 10 video series do watch all of them because this year has shown us something which no one could have ever imagined a global level and there are very precious learnings we have to take from this this is an effort by uh, bsc ipf uh, under the guidance of sebi so thank both of them in the comments and uh, do watch the entire 10 video series thank you very much